What's up, cooks? It's Wednesday, and yes, I was in the Aldi aisle of shame yet again. So there's some things that have been coming out recently at Aldi in that center lane or wherever it is in your store where they have everything but the food, right? Um, we went there and got the bread dome, and today they brought out this awesome pot, which is a dupe. And I wanted that, and I came home with all this. So what's up? It's Wednesday. It's time to do an unboxing of the Aldi Isle of Shame. So a couple weeks ago, we went to Aldi because they have this thing that's known as Aldi finds. And they're basically all non... Uh, food stuff. So you'll find everything from decor to kitchen to chainsaws right in that aisle. It's become known as the Isle of Shame. On Facebook, there's a huge Facebook group. And basically, it's called the Isle of Shame, not because it's like shame for buying things. It's like you go in there and as soon as you get in there, you go absolutely insane. Some of that shopping energy kicks in and you walk out in shame because you have a basket full of stuff that you really didn't know you needed, but you had to have, right? So that's what the Isle of Shame is. And they came out with their circular. The, all, the new Isle of Shame stuff comes out on Wednesday morning. And they brought in their, they bring out a circular every week to show what's coming up for the next week. And there's a pan out there called the Always Pan that became internet famous, basically TikTok famous, and Aldi has a dupe for that. The dupe is coming out actually today, but when I went, this is the stuff I got last week, they brought out this awesome pot. And it's basically a dupe of the Always Pan. They have something called a Perfect Pot. So it's a dupe of that. So that's what I went in there to get. And there was a whole bunch of stuff in the Aldi's finds, including a $49 stand mixer. Um, and I walked out with one, right? So let's take a look at what I got. Okay, first off, I got these silicone uh, loaf pans. These were $4 a piece, $4.99 maybe. Um, I don't a lot of times bake bread and silicone um, bake loaf pans, but I will say that these are good for like really sticky things. And it's also, I think, pretty good for uh, meatloaf. <laughs> Eric's not a big meatloaf fan, but I love making turkey meatloaf. And I can see myself doing that in this uh, loaf pan. So it's temperature resistance from negative 40 to 392. So I could bake a turkey meatloaf in one of these or bake off some spaghetti in one of these. Uh, that might be kind of cool. And they're pink, right? <laughs> I couldn't resist. I don't really use silicone bakeware too much. And one of the things I think is these are kind of floppy. So I don't know if I would really bake bread in them. Um, I think maybe you would want, I don't know if they make these like stiffer. Seems like years ago, I do have some from Boxiki and they're stiffer. They have like a, like a metal band around that keeps them from flopping so much. So that's what we have. So I got one cake and two loaf pans. I also got these cooling racks. I really love my Pampered Chef cooling racks, but there are times where I want to put one of these on a sheet pan and maybe I'm like frying something and I want to put it on here or I dredge some chicken and I want to put them on here. Um, these are dishwasher safe. And so I don't know if these are oven safe. Are they cooling racks only or can they heat on? I don't know. Um, I didn't think about this. I think these were like four bucks. Okay, so this is a glass baking dish set. I don't know how much this was, like $12, $13 or something. It is so heavy. I think it might be $12.99. I don't really have like a set of glass baking dishes, so I got this. 
Um, I thought it was interesting. It's so heavy for the price of it. So this is, um, if this is eight and a half by 11, it says. So this is made by Anchor Hawking, which is kind of interesting because it says Anchor on the bottom of it. Um, this is a two quart. This one here, this is pretty good if you're getting a set made by Anchor Hawking. This is a, it says a 24 by 34 a 9 by 13 3 quart. Wow, so that's your standard 9 by 13. And the big one is even bigger than a 9 by 13. Whoa! Okay, this is a 4.8 quart. This is a 10.3 by 14. Wow. Makes them Yeah. If you get near your Aldi and they have this set, this is pretty cool. Okay, so this is what I went to Aldi for. So there's there's a pan out there called the Always Pan, and it's like a saute pan, and people have been going crazy over it for the last about year. It has a, um, a wooden spoon that rests on the handle. I guess that's the claim to fame to it. So Aldi brought out their version of the Always Pan about a year ago, and it like sold out immediately. This week, today, they're coming out with more of them. Last Wednesday, they came out with these. These are the Always Pan has uh, something called a perfect pot, which is basically like a stock pot or a Dutch oven. And so this is a dupe of that. And this is, they call it the awesome pot. So it's ceramic um, nonstick. It works on gas, halogen, induction, electric. It's oven safe. The body is oven safe to 450. I don't know how high the top is. It is no PFOA, no PTFE, and it's made but with something called Fusion TI, whatever that is. So it came out in these two colors, green and black. These were 20 some odd dollars. Um, so I couldn't resist them. They, it is a really lightweight pot. Um, it's just like a, it's an aluminum pot. So if you want to bring like a heavy soup to the oven or something like, this might be kind of cool. So this is the inside of the famous uh, awesome pot. It's kind of, it feels like it has a greasy to it. I don't know what that is. So this is the black, and so we'll unbox the green. So the pictures were a little like Martha Stewart green to me. When I see this in person, it looks more like a, I don't know, I can't explain the color. It looked a little different in the ad. It looked more jade-eyed, and this, this corner looks a little more, um, I don't know, weird green. What? <laughs> what on earth? I guess I want that. This one is not quite like that. Why don't you put the black lid on the green one? This has a noticeable gap here. Obviously, see if the other lid works. But no. Man, the pot's defective. Yeah, it's the pot. Yeah. Yep, wow. it's the pot. Wow, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. So I got this glass pitcher. It's kind of interesting. It's called Double Wall glass picture. I think it was only like $7 or something. So there's a gap between the inside picture and this. So I don't know if that keeps it cooler. I don't know. Whatever, right? That's a picture. <laughs> 
So yes, you see this. I have all these fancy mixers and I bought a $50 Aldi mixer. So Aldi has had these mixers overseas for a while in their stores, but they're just getting here in the U.S. They released them uh, this last Wednesday. This is a 5.3 quart, 8 speed, 420 watt mixer for 50 bucks. So this is in the category of what I paid for old Scrappy-Doo years ago, the Farberware. Um, we are going to be doing, we're going to have some fun with this mixer. I have no expectations that this is going to be a powerhouse in any stretch of the imagination, but we're going to play around with it. And then when we're done with it, I'm going to pass some, but pass it along to somebody who will enjoy it, right? So you say, what are these, right? Christmas is coming. And I got some Christmas trees. <laughs> These are pretty cool. I got two of this kind and two of this kind. And watch what these do. These ones change color. We're going to have to turn the lights down. And they have like um, glitter that goes around inside of them. These ones here are just white lights these are cool huh so we turned down the lights these are pretty cool looking uh here are the ones with all the color and you have pretty much like um glitter flying around in there i can't say if i stare at that too much i'll end up with a migraine <laughs> uh, and there's the clear those look pretty cool so I think I'm going to put these two by the fireplace, and I'll, or maybe these two in the ki uh, dining room and these two by the fireplace, I don't know. I thought these were pretty cool. I think they were like $12. $12 to give you visual snow, right? <laughs> these are awesome. So that is my Aldi shame for this week. Um, I'm a little feeling kind of about that one awesome pan. That wasn't too awesome. No, it's a lid no. don't it's a lid don't fit pop. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna return that hopefully I don't know all these take returns. Um I am gonna get the their version of the always pan and I do have the Drew Barrymore so we're gonna test the two. I'm not buying an always pan because literally those are like 180 bucks for an aluminum pan I refuse to buy. Right. I'm not spending that kind of money. So we're going to do a dupe show where we're going to try the Aldi and the Drew Barrymore. And we're going to exclude the always pan because of the price. Um, so thanks for joining me. I hope you have a great Wednesday and um, the holidays are coming. <laughs>